friends, this is Jazz bringing another Better for Worse vlog number 58. And the first trip is from November 19th, 1997. Who was rummaging through my top drawer here? Uh, we were? What on earth for? April wanted to put a knee high over her head. She told me to. So I guess somebody has to wash all your nylons now, huh? Well, Liz, isn't it nice to know you're a somebody? Uh, Liz asked for that, personally. Liz dared April to put a knee nylon over her head. And was smart enough to say, oh, somebody's going to have to, to wash them all. Guess who somebody was? Liz! Technically, though, at this point in time, April's like six years old, and can't say she doesn't know the difference between right and wrong, but compared to Liz, who is at this point, I'd say it was 97, so she'd be about 15 years old here. She would know better, for sure. And she, as April said, it was her who told her to do it, so she's the one responsible. Not saying April shouldn't have had, I don't, I don't even know if she had any consequence at all. It never showed April's consequence. But they say between six and eight years old, they're starting to get a, what is it, a conscience? So a knowing right from wrong? So April, if it was perhaps her own clothes, I could see her experimenting with them, but taking something from her mother's drawer without asking was what was wrong. It, not, not what she did with them, but the fact that it was her mother's clothes, even if she did it to Liz's clothes, right? It would still be Liz's property. And, and Liz should have known better if she really was the one who told April to do it, she's 15 years old, she should have known better. So I think it was properly taken care of there that Liz was the one who was cleaning the clothes. April would have been too young for a punishment. Like, well, no, how do I put it? April would have been too young to do that properly. So maybe April had something taken from her that was hers that her mother could use or something to show her all that was April's property now she's taken something and she doesn't like it I definitely think April as I said it didn't show it but I definitely think April should have still gotten a consequence whether it was losing privilege of something that she really cared for or used a lot for a period of time until she knew the feeling that Ellie was feeling and I think what happened with Liz was appropriate, even though you're saying, well, why didn't they take something of Liz's, right? Well, she hates washing them, so, and she was old enough to wash them. So I think that was an appropriate punishment. The only reason I brought up the idea of taking something from April is she's old enough to understand that. And she's, but she's not old enough to help clean her the nylons. So it would be an appropriate punishment that she could get and understand. And I don't know how effective it would be for Liz to do that. It's a lot harder on a younger child. Final strip is from August fourteenth, two thousand and four. What's with this? How? I have arm flap extensions that reach around my back. I know things are shifting, but why there? The only way to get rid of them is to hold my arms up. And the only way to smooth out the lumps in my thighs is to bend over. Well, I don't know what the occasion is, but I appreciate the gesture. Oh my gosh. I don't know. Does that. Does John see that as a sexual reference? Or. Or wait, wait. Now that I think about it, it looks like she's. She's kneeling down to him. It looks like she's. She's. Like, you know, when they're. Uh. 
Onyrix said, what did they bow to the... Now that I think about it, I wasn't paying attention, but that looks like she's bowing before him. Ah, oh, gee. But yeah, yeah, we all know why she's doing it. She's trying to get things... Like, she doesn't like how she's looking, and she's trying to fix things. And as you get older, that is an issue. Not necessarily that, until you're quite a bit older. But for me, for example... And I don't even know if it's because of my age or I just never noticed them before. But I've noticed I've been getting kind of lines above on my forehead. But my aunt said that that is normal to have some lines, right? But I have never noticed them until like the other day. And I'm like, is it normal at any age to have a certain amount of lines on your forehead without like creasing them? And she kept saying, well, kind of, yes. Yeah. She wasn't paying attention after a while. But I had lines without, like, creasing them. You know, like, like, you know what I mean by that. And I'm like, am I getting an age? Am I actually getting wrinkles at before age 30? Like, I mean, I shouldn't complain because I always said how I look so young. So this should be a blessing to me that I'm actually starting to age. But really... That the first thing to happen? I mean, I would think maybe more gray hair before I'd get the lines. I mean, I don't know. Like, maybe it's just I wasn't so observant before of these things. Like, I might talk about this later in another video, but there's a situation where my aunt didn't think I would notice something she put up there, and I noticed it almost right away, which that never used to happen. So I'm starting to be more observant about things that I had used to. So maybe it's just that I just noticed it now, and that maybe this was always a thing with me, and I just wasn't paying attention to my parents before. I don't know, but anyway, that was off topic a little bit, but I don't have really much to say on that. It's just at first I didn't even notice that she was looked like she was kneeling to bow to him. It might have been that he thought it was a sexual gesture too, but I mean it looked more like she she's bowing before his greatness, right? As he said, I don't I don't know what the occasion is, but I appreciate the gesture. Even though he doesn't know what happened and why she was in that position in the first place. Actually, I find that hilarious. And John's response is, the, like, the funniest thing of it. Like, she was, he wasn't in her head. She didn't know that she was looking at different body parts. So anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, leave it a big thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel and like what you see, please subscribe and help this channel a lot. And don't forget to hit the bell notification so you'll know when new videos are coming out. And I will see you guys in my next video.